Hello, and welcome to this episode of Creating with Howcraft. My name is Denisha Spackmore of howcraftcollection.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create my Tides earrings. The tools and supplies we will be using today are round nose pliers, wire cutters, chain nose pliers. You're going to need six Philippine natural pectin shells. These can be found on the howcraftcollection.com website. Perfect shells for summer. And we're going to be using 26 gauge wire. This is eight and a half inches. You will also need an ear wire. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found on the website. Search the Tides earrings. Using eight and a half inches of 26 gauge wire, we're going to grab our Philippine natural pectin shell. We're going to string it to the middle. And then we're going to bend those wires up. And I grab it with my fingers right here. And we're going to twist one, two. Now we're going to separate the wires. We're going to pick up our orange pectin shell and we're going to string that on the back wire and we are just going to bring that down and then we're going to pass the front wire back through the shell And at this point, we're going to finish the twist on the bottom shell. So holding the second yellow shell, we're going to twist towards us. One, two, three. And then we're going to come back in with our chain nose pliers and just straighten that up. Now we're going to come up here and we're going to grab the shell right at the top with our fingernails and we're going to twist one, two. Now we're going to separate the wires, kind of straighten them out a little bit with your fingernail so they're nice and straight. Now we're going to pick up our yellow pectin shell and we're going to string that shell down and we're going to pass the wire back through. Straighten that out a little bit and grab it. And grab it with your chain nose pliers. And then holding it right here, we're going to twist towards us. One, two, three. And we can come back through, straighten these little wires out. Now we're going to form a wrapped loop. So we're going to make sure those wires are butted right up against each other. We're going to bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards us, 
move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back. We're gonna turn it around and using our chain nose pliers, we're gonna grab both wires. We're gonna wrap one, two, three. Using our wire cutters, we're gonna trim off that little end. And then on, instead of straightening it with the, with the um, chain nose pliers, we're gonna use our round nose pliers and move them to the location that we want. Then we can come back in with the chain nose pliers, tap it down, tap down that little wire. Now we're gonna open our ear wire. Ear wires are open just like jump rings. We're just gonna open it and close it. So we open the ear wire. We're gonna attach it and then close the ear wire. You can create this design with any bead that is a lintel with a hole in the center. If it's a bigger bead, you'll have to make your wire longer. And that is how you create my Tides earrings. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Howcraft USA. Also click the little bell so you'll receive notifications on when we post new DIY videos. Be sure to visit HowCraftCollection.com for more inspirational DIY projects. This was just added this week. It's called the Tides Necklace and it's created with HowCraftCollection.com abalone, wax linen cording, and simple knots. We don't have a video for this necklace, but we do have printable PDF instructions. Also, we have the Tides matching bracelet using the Philippine natural pectin shells. This is also on the website with PDF instructions. Howcraftcollection.com updates their website weekly with new beads and a fabulous new sale. So be sure to visit the website for all your jewelry making needs and I will see you next time.